The world's biggest food company, Nestle, has been accused of failing to carry out basic checks on its cocoa supply chain where child labour and abuse are widespread. The Fair Labour Association, who were hired by Nestle, tracked the journey of cocoa from the poorest and most remote farms to the exporters who sold directly to Nestle. The company says it will carry out the association's recommendations. Our world affairs correspondent, Humphrey Hawksley, reports. For years, this has been a sad but familiar scene in the Ivory Coast. Children hack at pods of cocoa for the chocolate companies in an industry worth more than £60 billion a year. Last November, they told me they barely got paid and untreated machete injuries are common. Many children are separated from their families and work far away from home. Well, you could be in a my father sent me here to work. I haven't seen my family for three years. The big household name chocolate companies buy cocoa that comes from places like this. Last year, Nestle commissioned an independent auditor to find out the exact details. The investigators discovered that there had been multiple serious violations of Nestle's own company code on child labour, safety and other issues. Ten years ago, Nestle and other chocolate companies signed a protocol promising to act against child labour. Activists are now impatient at the lack of results. If this was happening here, we do something about it now, today, tonight. This, this is an intolerable situation to continue for a month longer, a week longer, a night longer for this lad here. Nestle says it will now monitor all stages of its supply chain, such as in small warehouses like this. During the cocoa harvest, we had no difficulty in finding children at work. Nestle says this goes against everything the company stands for, and tackling child labour has now become a top priority. Humphrey Hawksley, BBC News.